I'm just going to go ahead and take a shot at this one and say that it's called Kanga, Seeds of Civilization. Hello again there, friends and fans. Raptor here, and welcome to a wonderful village and civilization builder that should be available now on Steam to take a peek at on their Kickstarter, too. Check the links down below in the description where we're building a society. We're building armies. We're building houses and farms, not just a little village. We're building the future of our glorious nation. Glory to Raptoria down below in the comment section and make sure you go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already to see more of these videos. 60% of the people watching never sub, so make sure you do so that way you can get access to all this fun stuff for free, all these cool games and whatnot, and all upcoming uh, videos and such can be found down below in the description. By completing more and more of these uh, missions, we can get eventually, uh, we, we right now have one karma, and if we complete missions, we get two or three to make our missions uh, easier to complete things that are uh, special challenges for our people. Right now, we're kind of like an international trade hub or something like that. We're a village elder who represents our people, and we can buy things to bring back, things like uh, technology from other nations, like the windmill, taller houses, or even a fishing tower. And this kind of reminds me of, like a Scandinavian or Japanese-style building, and these two over here are thinkers that we can eventually take control of to either be captains of industry or good farmers or perhaps uh, military leaders and right now our our current character this guy kind of looks like a wizard with the cane and the uh, <laughs> like the crystal ball and stuff like that he is definitely a well-rounded character who should lead our people to victory so again thank you guys for being here and you're all awesome we're going to jump in now and take a look at all these different areas to build in. In the future, we'll be able to build in areas that look like deserts and also uh, kind of rocky mountain sides, tropical areas, swamps, and very dark woods, very uh, wooded areas. We're going to start on terraces first, where today's goal is the fight for glory. We must build ourselves an arena and then eventually host it, like we're competing for the Olympics against other tribes too. So there is combat. They will be hostile. We'll need to watch out for it. And every time that we play this game, the map is different based on where you build. It's kind of procedurally generated or randomly generated. And also the people that you'll fight against could be aggressive. They could be not. They could be very skilled farmers. They could be warriors. But it's going to be a fight no matter what. So the fight for Raptoria begins now. Let's go ahead and jump into terraces and the fight for glory. First loading screen here and jumping right into the map. This is kind of like a 2.5D city builder and a roguelike too, I guess you could say. There's uh, there's the map there, and we could fight against maybe one or two tribes. Ooh, they've got like a large fortress over there. Ooh, ooh. I see a couple of houses and a lot of warriors there too. Some uh, huts that they've already gotten started with, so we got to be quick, otherwise they're going to conquer us. We better start with our campfire then, which is kind of like setting up our town hall. There's food and such around too. Let's go ahead and try to build as close to the edge as we can, something like that. This basically sets up our building area for our village. And what's really cool about this 
is that our people will only start working once you've asked for things to be constructed. So right now we need a campfire, so they're obviously going to cut down wood and put all that stuff together for us. We're basically playing as the village elder, and we're telling them kind of what to do in order to guide our people. We're now going to uh, start with some technology, things like maybe farming right away would be a good idea. We'll start by uh, farming some crops. Let's go ahead and begin that research. And our thinker will start thinking about how to do some basic farming. And that research is done. So now we're going to also start on homes. Now, homes are different each time, too. If you noticed up at the top, there's kind of like a desert area up here. And uh, based on where we build, things could be built out of adobe, or they could be built out of uh, bamboo or giant logs. So some of the technology is always different. For us, for now, it seems the most uh, beneficial to go maybe with the wooden houses. It gives us better protection, uh, but doesn't give us as high of a capacity. The other option is a clay house, which uh, seems like it's go only going to take clay and reed, uh, but gives us um, not the option of these, um, the wooden house, which is sturdy construction, but we can go for clay. Let's go for that one. It seems to be good against uh, rain, and there's also some fire protection too. So let's go with clay, and we'll start researching that. In the meantime, let's tell our people to start planting farms. There we go. So we'll go ahead and start uh, doing some cornfields here for our people. Start with three, and we'll tell our people to also start building some homes. So we'll build some clay homes over here. And all these uh, little dirt mounds are clay deposits that they can go and gather stuff from. Oh, hello, sir. What are you? Th that is a snake beetle elephant thing. Yes, there's a little bit of fantasy to this game, too. That looks like an ostrich neck, but a snake. Uh, I'm getting uh, vibes of, like, uh, starship troopers, too. Weird creature. I think we might be able to use it for war. I'm not sure exactly, but whatever. All right, let's go ahead and build some houses. Start with our first house there and our second house there. Now our first goals are to build the campfire, build a few houses, and get a source of food. So we're almost done with that. Taming beasts. With brave selected, right-click on a beast to tame it. Ooh, wait a minute. We can tell our people to go out and tame that thing? No way. Hold on, let's try to go out there and see if we can tame that beast to use against the enemy. Go ahead and tell all of our people to go. The full, the full squad, go tame that thing. Oh, oh, is it fighting us? I think, I think it wants to fight. It's screeching. Oh, it's coming. Oh, it's coming. Oh boy. Maybe we can mess with it later. Oh boy. Yep. Whoa. Okay. He just knocked one of our boys off the hill. All right, watch it there, buddy. He's okay though. He's, he's fine. All right, get back to home construction or whatnot. There we go. All right, all of our people are going to work on home construction. Oh, it's so cool. Every time you build with stuff, it kind of changes how it looks. So our style is always different. It feels like we're starting a new civilization each time. All right, so now we got some farming going on. We've got uh, one of four houses, so we'll need to build another one. Let's build another one there. Build like a nice little alleyway here of houses and maybe another farm just to make sure our people don't starve. Wow, a tree just grew back just like that. How's the enemy doing? Ooh, they seem to have military units already. Some workers, and it looks like a fortress there. It looks like they have put some houses together. That looks really cool. Oh, and it's going to rain. Oh, would you look at that? It actually is like sucking up the water and stuff as it moves around. There's a ship there. That's interesting. Huh. The rain cloud looks really cool as it moves around. All right. We got to do some more research now as we prepare to build the arena for the fight for glory. We could start a festival. A feast or a reed bonfire, both of those would generate uh, favor for us. And that could be a beneficial thing in the future. Um, we could also go with resources or reed field. Oh, this would be a good combo. If we research the reed field, and then if we research the festival, we can continuously gather and burn reed. Uh, unfortunately, that's going to cost too much, though, because 4 plus 3 is not going to uh, be enough. So we'll start. let's first start with the festival. And then we can uh, gather more afterwards. So we'll go ahead and start with that one. So all this stuff here is reed, and once we pick that, I don't think it grows back, or at least it takes a very long time. But we can start a farm for it, and then that'll allow us to continuously generate this, which is the favor. And that favor is basically research points, uh, kind of like faith or whatnot, a, kind of a mix of a few of them. All right, now we can build ourselves the reed bonfire. Let's build that somewhere out of town, maybe over here. There we go. And our people will get on constructing that ASAP. Now, people are being generated in these homes, and we can once they're done, we can basically tell them to come on out and uh, start working for us. And our people should automatically uh, go for a job as soon as they can. It takes like a second or two, but they'll figure out what's needed and what materials are needed for it, which is really slick. Put our village elder over here. 
And you can see what we're selected with the upper right corner. So mud, reeds, clay, fertile soil, etc. Let's you know what you're looking at. We need to build two more houses. One of them's almost done. We're about uh, halfway there now and a few more to go. We need more people too. So the faster we get more people, the faster this can go. And look at that. There's a lot of people needed for farming. Just like in the old times, it takes a heck of a lot of work to plow a field, sow a field, gather all your stuff. It takes a long time. I like this so far. It's going good. I like the enemy's um, houses here, too. Uh, what do we have here? Food nearby, 15. Well, it looks like there's a demand. Your neighbor has demanded tribute. Send a unit to the tribute table to fulfill their wishes. Otherwise, prepare for retaliation. Uh, de demand denied. Oh, I didn't really... Uh, what? Okay, I didn't really want to deny. Uh-oh. We're going to have a war. Oh, great. They got quite a few people standing out there. Oh, oh, great. There's more neighbors. Oh, wonderful. And they are coming over to attack, I think. Oh, boy. All right, everybody prepare for war. Get him, boys. Oh, boy. Okay, I think we got him. I think so. Our thinker's okay, our village elder. Okay, I think we did good. All right, boys, back to farming. Oh, yeah, those guys got wiped out. All right, get back to it then. Oh, boy. So we had multiple uh, neighbors give us demands. We don't negotiate with terrorists, boys. You should know that. All right, let's go over there and finish up our reed bonfire. That'll be cool. And then we can also have our reed field now, too. Oh, good. Excellent. There's more we can research than I thought. Excellent. All right, lots of food nearby being put into the houses. Hey, we're done with goal number one. Current goals, research the arena, get 20 people, and host the event. Awesome. All right, now we just need to raise more people. Oh, combat. Oh, they're attacking again. Our village elder is like, why would you do this? Why would you come over here and cause trouble? Looks like the uh, bonfire is almost ready. Six out of six population needed. Okay, our people need to get back to working on that. We got to host that so we can continue our research. The next thing we can research is movement things. Sometimes you have to research it even if it's not beneficial. So I think we'll research maybe bamboo ladders. And then we can uh, also research another thing up top to unlock the arena. We got to go quick. Not fair. The other civilizations start out with a large population. Luckily, the blue guys are attacking us. and They're not really doing well. But we have no food. We're, we're growing it now. Party time! That's pretty lit. All right, have a festival of the reed... All right, and we've researched bamboo. Oh, wow, look at that. They're actually praising the bamboo. I love the animations and stuff. Very cool cartoony style. Reminds me of like a Flash game. You guys remember those? Remember Flash games? Oh. All gone now. Just like our food. We better go find some food nearby. I don't see anything else we can just eat at the moment. Maybe that thing. Maybe we can kill that giant snail. Or tame it. Okay, let's get all of our people on farming. That should speed up that process. And we can do some more farming there and there. There we go. We want more food to be made. Now, what's the next thing? Maybe movement up top? Bridge would cost two. Let's go for that. Almost ready to host this event. Reed farm has been built. Excellent. Somebody's working on that so we can continue to do the festival. Unlocking more tech. So you kind of have some choices that you can make in order to affect your leadership, but you also kind of don't. Sometimes you're limited by literally the technology that you've discovered, or more importantly, the landscape around you that limits or improves your construction options based on... You've chosen really, or or where you've settled. 
Okay. Well, next we need to get that uh, fight for glory. The arena or the tower? Uh, let's go with the arena. Place for two people to fight. Uh, arena tower or just the arena? Oh, one takes wood and one takes wood and... Oh, one's bigger or smaller. Yeah, let's go ahead and build research on the bigger one. Let's get that thinking going. I thought that would have cost more favor, but I guess not. And our people will prepare a feast. Right now they're a little hungry. They're not really doing anything. There's more fields out there, y'all. There we go. Okay, let's get more people working. Hey, everybody grab a field here. Nice, now we can build the arena tower. We have plenty of bamboo and wood around. So we'll have the battle take place over here. Oh, damn, are two people going to... Oh, this is going to be like Mortal Kombat. Two people are going to fight at the top of this to a large, large tower, and then somebody's going to fall to their death on the spikes. That's pretty sweet. That's actually pretty sweet. Uh, where's a cool spot to put it? Uh, unfortunately, all this clay is in the way. Can we put it in the center of the village? Oh, we'll put it over there. That seems to be the only spot for now. All right, sorry about the lack of food, guys. We'll order uh, Uber Eats. How does that sound? That's fine. We'll get that working. All right, we need to get 20 Braves in our village. So right now we got uh, 6 out of 14. So we got homes we need to build for a few more. So I think we can build one more house here. And then we should be able to make more food. But I guess we'll need more people in the village to work the farms. There's a the demand. Uh, they want food, food, food. How come I can't make a demand? How about you give me food, food, food? I literally have nothing. I'll battle you for it, bro. Okay, we got 6 out of 14. We should be able to do some more thinking. Let's see. What else can we do for research? Ah, huh, rope technology. Uh, damage and chopping speed. Oh, doubles damage speed. That might be a good one. Or protection. Yeah, let's go for more damage. That way, if anybody attacks us, we can do even more damage now. So that's just going to be a passive thing that will work. We won't have to do anything extra with it. Just a technique of teaching them how to sharpen axes. There is a hell of a lot of people in that town. It's like their cities are pre-built. They're just going to grow. It's like if you were to build an ant farm and then just put ants in it. It's an autopilot. Just leave food in there with a pre-built uh, ant hill and they'll take care of the rest. Okay. Nice. Sharpened axes are complete. We can do another tribute if we want to. Another festival, since we're gathering reed. And that'll give us more favor. Let's put that out over there. And do we have anybody else being born or being recruited? Have some more people. Get out there, people. Get to work now. Sir, you can get to work on the tower. And it looks like food is being product. Yep, we got production. Okay, how do we deliver food to that place? I don't want any trouble yet. I want to build up. We only have seven people. I don't want any trouble. Maybe we can tell somebody to go up there. Ah, there we go. Whoa! Whoa, lightning's actually hitting. Is it going to wreck the other villages? It looks like our village is relatively unharmed. Oh, we got lucky on that one. Can't want this guy to build this house. Looks like the tower is being built. I also want the monument to be built, too. You've been forgiven. An enemy has forgiven you for your atrocities. My atrocities of defending myself and not giving into your threats and demands for war? Okay. My atrocities. I'm guilty of crimes. There we go. All right, I think each house is four, or was it three? I can't recall. Well, it must be four. So now we've got a population of 14, so it should be 18 and then 20 or so, unless the campfire provides additional. Oh, look at that. The arena tower is almost ready. We need 20 to have the fight. Either we have to have our best warrior... Fight it out with our warrior class. 
or we need to uh, fight it out with the neighbors. Demands met, yay, that's why we have no food, but at least we're not really uh, making anybody mad. Maybe these are demands, oh. Uh, let's see, I think Blue will send over some troops again. And indeed they are. Sending over a group of about four. We now have uh, nine out of 17. Oh boy, everybody fight. Where's our village elder? Get out of there, bro. Bail. Well, I don't know if we can hold these guys back. They look like us. Oh damn, our axes slaughtered them. They had an archer, but they got absolutely destroyed. With those sharper axes, we lost somebody. But they lost their whole attack. Damn, get wrecked. Damn right, that must have been their base exploding. Yeah, that's right. Damn right. Alright, finish the house. Oh, we got a fire. Okay, we, uh, I don't know if we have a way to defend against that. We'd have to do some protection. A well favor cost, but we don't have enough to do that yet. We need the uh, little party here to get started at the Reed Bonfire. Please build that. I see smoke in all of our buildings, but I don't notice any of them on fire. Obviously, everybody's home cooking stuff. Dude, that arena is sweet. Now we just got to be the first to 20 population. Which we can afford, finally. Now we just need everyone else working on farming. So is anybody else doing anything else? I want everybody working on farming. Food, 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 food. Get that population up. And then we'll host the Reed Bonfire event. Reed Bonfire. It sounds like a guy you work with. Gotta get to that 20 pop. A lot of corn and stuff being made. I'm sure we can eventually have different types of foods. Like, for example, the patty would allow us to probably grow rice. It's, this is quite cool, I must say. I really like this so far. The fact that it throws random things at you, too, is like you're going to have to play in a style that you n normally wouldn't, or you'll have to change it up each time. It'll make you a very good player, and it's going to all be about dice rolls. You know, either you do very, very well, or very poorly sometimes based on what you're given. <laughs> And where you spawn and what's nearby. Alright, we're ready for a festival. Host that festival, boys. Gotta get them favors up. Food will be ready soon. So we're about halfway there. Oh, combat. Somebody's attacking. Get that guy. There we go. Alright, back to the party. Guy was trying to ruin our fun. Alright, good job, everybody. Alright, back to farming. Well, oh, that guy's got like an arrow stuck in his butt. Hilarious! Okay. Everybody go back to farming now. Farm, farm, farm. Alright, population's halfway there. There's a lot of demands going on at the start, but they seem to have just calmed down now. And as our population increases, that means more people can work at the farm, so we should should have set ourselves up for success here. As long as the neighbors leave us alone. Structure safety, sky's the limit. Uh, roof space can be built on if you can access it. Oh, really? We can build buildings on top of buildings. Oh, neat! That was one of our perks, too. Probably easier just to build on the ground for now. All right, we're at 12, 13 now. Our population is growing. Oh, man, we're going to host this party no matter what. Build some more farms. Oh, yeah, look at all that food, baby. That's a lot of good vittles right there. Build the bonfire again just in case. Let's take a look at research. Uh, we could research the... Oh, wait a minute, war. Let's buy a well for now. And then we'll see what unlocks after that. And we'll have to have another party. 
Another reed festival so we can unlock whatever war things are. We'll finally get some better war units. Our axemen, our warriors so far, are like little militia have done a great job of defending. Now, I've even seen units that have guns, and there's also, um, like, kind of armored units and such, and it gets quite uh, cool with what types of weapons they attack you with. Not necessarily muskets, but, like, early uh, gunpowder such eventually they'll attack with. Quite interesting. Alright, let's build a well near the uh, bonfire just in case it gets out of control. And let's research war. Snail, war rig, archery range, or the spear lager. Oh, man. There was a snail up there, wasn't there? Bro, we have to get a war snail. To, is that around anymore? Oh, there's a ruin up there. Standing stone. I wonder what that's for. Ah, there's our war snail. Dude, we have to recruit that war snail. Uh, a fixed spiked platform from where your warriors can fight from. Damages attackers. Damn. I like that idea. We just need two bamboos to do it. But we also probably want an archery range. They didn't seem very powerful, though. Uh, 14 clay and 3 reed for that. Uh, let's see. It's train spearmen that can attack from distance. Oh, man, they all seem cool. We can only pick one. Um, but we need, we need to host that party first. Okay, we have no reeds at the moment, so the farmers are working on that. Good job, everybody. There we go. Can we get another reed farm going? Could need those reeds in to build that stuff quickly. Seems to be a farm here that disappeared. Can we get somebody working on that? Get our population to get out of here, get to work. Well, it doesn't look like they can do anything about that. Uh, go lend a hand now. Population at 21 out of 20. We have ourselves a victory. Let's do it. Alright, everybody, gather around for death. I need two, two, two warriors. Yeah. Battle it out, boys. Wow. Oh, we need to host the Arena Festival once that's done. Our population will go back up again. <laughs> we lost a few in the festival, as you would imagine. Oops. Oops, some of our people died in a festival. Hey, here we go. Congratulations, you won. Unlocked a new mission. Build landmarks. Lay spiritual claim to this region. Build specifically designed buildings across the land and protect them until your claim has been made. Thank you. We gotta make like a cultural claim to the area and start the Raptorian influence on the region. Let's go back inside. We have, whoa, we got nine karma now? Damn. Uh, let's see, windmills. What can we unlock? Uh, let's see, tall sail tower to push clouds away, protecting your town. Variety of taller homes. Uh, let's see, good source of food for fishing. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get that one, please. Yeah, that's a good move. And uh, I like the taller houses. Nice. All right, let's go take a look at that next mission. All right, let's go uh, take a peek at what that map looks like. So we have to build, like, culturally significant buildings to, like, claim the land. That's kind of cool. So, um, let's see. Let's build our campfire again. Looks like we... Oh, we've kind of switched places with the other guys. Now we're not near the water at all. Well, that stinks because now we... <laughs> we had a... We had a fishing option. But I guess we're not going to be able to do that. Unless we spawn near the coast, those two jerks. Oh, they got it right over there. Okay, well, we have to start up here then. So we'll start in the high ground where we're safe. We have the high ground, so we've already won. All right, build our campfire. And we'll have to start researching too. Let's go with shelter. Mm, let's see, there seems to be a lot of wood up here, right? I see bamboo and regular trees, so let's go with the wood tower house. I like that idea. Please begin research. After that, let's do some resources. A reed field sounds like a good idea. Do we not have food? We might be a good idea to get food. We'll have to pick one of these first. Uh, let's go with a reed field so we don't ever run out of supply. There's a few reeds here, but once we once they're gone, they're gone. And let's build some homes. 
There we go. Good. Hopefully we only have to build four. Only need to do three. Okay, let's do a reed farm. Excellent. More research. Let's do food. A bakery, a patty, or a crop row. Let's see what we got uh, for best land. Oh, we're kind of limited on land. Let's see. Bake inedible reeds into delicious food. Slow but effective. Ooh, okay. Construction material not found nearby, though. Oh. Attachment. Oh, we need to attach it to a house. Oh. Oh. Okay, so that third house can be put into, uh, or the fourth house that we're building can be converted into a bakery by adding those buildings to it. That's interesting. You take the shell of a building and then turn it into a production building. That's neat. So now that gives us a reason to have all these reed fields. Perfect. Excellent. So it's like we're discovering wheat before it's just like a useless reed. But now we know how valuable it truly is. Okay. So once one of these homes are completed, we can just add a reed to it. Oh, looks like there's some territory over here. So if we can research more food, we'll do that. But the reeds seem to be easy. And much uh, much easier to grow, too. As soon as these houses are done. Alright, let's go for protection. Uh, or passive. Wooden nails increases building time. Uh, Braves still work while it's raining. Hmm. Um... We probably should prepare for war. Let's go passive and let's go with the wooden nails for construction. Uh, oh, it requires scaffolding. What is the problem here with that? Nothing. Okay, we'll go with that. Speed up that construction time, Elder. And we'll build ourselves a few more farms. Want to make sure we have enough of those. That's a building material and it's also a food, so we probably should have a lot more of that than we, than we think we do. We don't ever want to have a shortage on that. Mmm, looks like the uh, bakery actually requires clay, which is not nearby us, but we could find it somewhere on the map. Uh, there might not be any. Oh, um. Oh, there is some down here. We can go and tell our people to gather that. Yeah, we can tell our people to gather that. Yep, that's ours now. That's Raptorian territory. There we go. And we've now told our people that that's ours. And that they'll need to go lay claim to that as soon as we can. And we'll convert this one to a bakery. Excellent. We'll build that into the wall a little bit. Ah, and a nice rainfall coming through to grow reeds. Excellent. Very nice. Okay, let's research a festival. We can research the reed bonfire. Wow. We've gone for the... Uh, we're the people of the reeds now. Our homes are built by reeds. We eat reeds. We burn reeds. It's crazy out here, y'all. It's crazy. Well, we're just out about out of time now for this uh, first look at Ka uh, Ka Kanga. And if you want to back it on Kickstarter, take a look at the Steam store page. Feel more than welcome to do so. I like this game. There's some unique gameplay here that's different every time. Weird uh, bugs and animals and stuff that uh, are not too weird, but it uh, definitely is really cool to see combat, the ability to build, and things kind of being randomly thrown at you. you got to choose and do what you can to survive. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you very much for liking the video, and enjoy the rest of your day. Goodbye, everyone. Take care, and have a good one. Yeah, you're the best. Thanks for watching.